Hi folks, today we released a new report called Censored, how online media companies are suppressing conservative speech. This is the most comprehensive report we've ever produced and details what I believe may be one of the greatest threats to free speech in American history. I know that sounds dramatic, but believe me, what we found really is that disturbing. Over the past year, I've grown increasingly concerned by troubling stories about conservative voices being suppressed on major social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Now, you may not be active on these types of social media, but today nearly two-thirds of Americans get their news from them, and around the rest of the world, billions of people use social media as their primary source for communications. That's why the scope of this problem is enormous. We know the field of social media better than anyone else in the conservative movement. At first, when conservatives began complaining about being censored, we knew some of the reports were just a matter of confusion. But then more and more credible instances of outright censorship of conservative voices on social media were brought to our attention. Did you catch James O'Keefe's terrific undercover work covered by Drudge and others, showing Twitter employees caught on camera bragging about shadow banning conservatives. That's just one example of this growing coordinated effort to censor conservative speech. We decided it was time for a serious investigation into this threat. Our findings are irrefutable and shocking. Specifically, we found Facebook's trending feed has been deliberately hiding conservative content. YouTube moderators are removing videos that promote conservative political views. Google uses both their search engine and their video site YouTube to deliberately and aggressively promote liberal politicians and ideas while muzzling conservative viewpoints. Twitter has been the worst place of them all for conservatives, doing things like banning pro-life advertisements while allowing ones from pro-abortion groups. 12 of the 25 U.S. members of Twitter's Trust and Safety Council, which help guide its policies, are leftist. Only one is a conservative. And all of this is just the tip of the iceberg. That's why we must fight back. Go to StopCensoringConservatives.com. There you'll be able to download the full report, read it, then share it with as many people as you can. On the website, you'll find all the tools you need to share this report with your friends. Once again, that address is StopCensoringConservatives.com. We must get the word out about how the left is censoring conservative voices on social media before it's too late. I hope you can help. Thanks for all you do.